no kuba masi we chusi la saze sa shalala pshonge zwenle asawa zino kuba masi we chusi la mambuga nangu pi nangu pi aulala lexi go okay baby Marilyn you mentioned the name of this uh you you're the one that uh, first one that ever I've been up here several times but you're the first one that mentioned that the name of the gorge where they found the skulls what what did you say the name of it was I was told that the gorge is called Old Davi Old Old Davi gorge uh-huh and uh it's in one of my books of places that are relevant to human history uh -huh. and i've always wanted to visit it i don't think we're going to get there today because i understand it's further uh -huh. but it was noted on this sign so janetta do you know this place we are where uh, we like are now are, i've been i've been here several times but almost every time i come somebody tells me something new about it <laughs> because you know when the, when you're uh, uh you can't see things mm -hmm. and people that are here normally here that are live here it's not anything new to them exactly but whenever i have a visitor that visitor always spots something like you told me about that sign mm -hmm. and what it meant and that means a whole lot to me so uh you know that's why i like to do a little video because the, m people want to know about africa yeah and there's just so much to know maryland yeah and there's lake minyara now here i know lake minyara a lot of times they have these, what's the name of these birds that come by here? Um, uh, I can't help you with that, Janetta. The uh, egrets? Egrets? No, the, uh, not the peacocks or something. I don't know, but some bird comes by. And the, when I first came here, there were, we saw some elephants here. Mm -hmm. But this time, I don't know, maybe it's not the time for elephants to be roaming around this area. But um, Tanzania, is known for tilapia fish. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, East Africa, Africa period, the the tilapia fish is really fish come out of the waters here, in this part of Africa and also in Israel and you know, uh, but that's the main fish that mm -hmm. they eat, and it's so different than the tilapia that we get at home. This Lake Minyar, we've come up here several times. It's quite beautiful. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, so we're at a, there's a hotel up the hill here someplace. Yeah, I think I see it. It's like on the edge. Yeah, and they have a gate around it uh -huh. because the animals do come and uh, to make sure the safety of uh -huh. uh, the people, but the animals do come. But it's a beautiful area, and now today is a good day. It's a little bit cloudy, and it's drizzling a little bit, but girl, it can get hot up I here. I can tell. Mm -mm. You know, Janetta, the one thing that I noticed unfortunately uh-huh um is litter yeah it's litter it's well like you know so when much, you're, it's plastic you know when you're when, yeah and see that's why that's one thing nice about rwanda they have a, a law against plastic mm -hmm. in rwanda but when you're not taught to really respect and honor your place mm -hmm. see this is where it comes in about us being taught about who we are because when we find out how precious this is around us we wouldn't do that. Yeah. But when you're not taught that you're taught maybe that your place of abode is not that important, then you don't feel the importance of mm -hmm. it. So, you know, this is the thing that needs to be uh, taught that you just don't. And you don't see a whole bunch of trash barrels here, do you? Mm -mm. No, no. See, that's another problem. They need to have uh, trash cans here. And most of the plastic, plastic is so horrible. Yeah. Uh, but, but uh, you know, this is the thing. The more you respect yourself, the more the cleaner you are with what you do with things. Mm -hmm. You uh, respect the area. For them, it's just common. You know, for us, it's something really magnificent and beautiful. But this is something they wake up to all the time. So you take it for granted. You take it for granted. But it's really beautiful. Yeah, it is. It's really beautiful. In spite of the plastic. And just think, this belongs to us, Marilyn. I know. I know. This is where we were taken away from. Yeah. This is our home. And it's so beautiful how the Creator just prepared such a beautiful place for us, and and then all the the ju the 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 uh, gems they talk about in the Bible are in these oh, yeah. areas here. 
They're all around. And mm -hmm. of all the gold that's been taken out of Africa, every street in Africa could be gold if they had never taken any gold yeah. out and more. Everything could be gold because they've taken out tons and tons and tons of gold. And there's still more gold here. Africa is so rich, uh, rich in culture, yeah. rich in beauty. And so uh, the day is coming. Uh, yeah. That's another video. Yeah. <laughs> the day is coming. Okay. Let's go, girl. We got more to see. Yep. And uh, thank you, Marilyn, for bringing oh, that, that, that information. Uh, because this is the area, I think, where the oldest bones were found. They, the, the, here in Tanzania is where they found the, that mm -hmm. there's, is proven that man started, started here. here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if the, I don't know if uh, the, uh, the Garden of Eden's around here, <laughs> but uh, the beauty we see could very well be. But the Garden of Eden's here, but the, they said man come from this the area evidence, right yeah, here. The evidence is here. The evidence is here. Okay, let's go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> come on, grandson. <laughs> Asawa zinokuba masi wechu si jala mambuwa Nangupi, nangupi, awulkala lelsigo Hey, this is Jamila and you're watching Africa Speaks of